The point of origin and insertion happens to be trouble topic for many students. In this video, we'll assist you in understanding the difference between them both. The point of insertion and origin is based on the tendon attachment to bones that are movable, fixed, are partially movable. Point of origin refers to the tendon being attached to the bone that moves the least. Here, the scapula moves the least or not at all. Hence, with the bicep, the point of origin is at the scapula. And here we're seeing this pulsing yellow circle showing us the scapula. And if you are not familiar with the scapula, it is to the back. Just move your hand under the arm, touching the back, and there you'll find the scapula. Let's look at the point of insertion. The point of insertion refers to the tendon being attached to the bone that moves the most. Here, the radius moves more than the scapula, so the point of insertion is at the radius. Now, if you were supposed to look at these two bones, here we have the radius here. And if you were supposed to flex the arm, bending this area closer, what you'll find happening is that the bicep muscle, which is attached to the radius with one tendon, however, two to the scapula, what you'll find is that this area will be moving, this bone will be moving far more than the scapula at the back here would move. You want to make sure you understand the difference here with the point of insertion and origin. So there we have it. Flexing the arm, you're seeing there the radius being moved more than the scapula as the scapula sits nicely to the back right here and it barely moves, if any at all. Coming up in our next lesson, we are going to be looking at joints and you should be seeing some of these in the next animation you can make a judgment as to what type of joint you are seeing in the presentation this video should be out in short order so you'll be able to make that judgment just look at the animation there and tell me what you think thanks much for watching please be reminded to like share and of course subscribe leave us a comment 